Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar. And today we're going to take out our PvP character, Gladiator. So let's get this food done. So we're going to take the two food dishes, and whilst we're doing food dishes, I'm just wondering what we've got to train on him, if we've got anything that we want to train. Venison loaf. Uh oh, we've got a PvP character. Let's just get the venison loaf on us. Let's get ourselves into the shadows. Quick look around us. Put ourselves into an unusual place. We don't want a surprise attack. So let's just put ourselves around here. And we shouldn't get a surprise attack. That's why I can't stream this character. Not at the moment. He's not ready to fight other players yet. Not unless they're low level. Don't mind if it happens. Right, strength's being trained, life's not being done, water, ah, we need to go and see the trainer for these, that's what we need to do, let's just see if we're going to do anything else, refresh my mind on this character, no, tactics, no, Aiming we're not. Focus. Any points has he got? Let's get that one up a little bit more. Right, okay. Now we've got. Let's be cautious about this. Oh, two PvP players in the area. Right, okay. Thing is, I haven't got any Oracle penguins, but. I don't want to be slaughtered. Right, let's go and see who they might be. Let's keep our eye out for any character. Let's just keep this refreshed on me. One I thought would be okay, two is a bit questionable. Okay, I'm just looking at the entrances. Uh, there's still two in. Two question marks. They're very hard to see, but you probably can't notice them. You can't see them down on the docks, so because they could be in their own houses, coming out of their houses. Let's have a look. Get closer to the devotionals. Ah, is that one of them? No, that's Mr. Smith. Right, let's scout the devotionals. Mind you, they could be invisible. I mean, one's left the zone. So he's either logged off or... I can't see... I'm just seeing if I can see another player. But if they're like me, they'd also be invisible. Right, let's quickly get our devotionals then. And then if they find me or jump me, then that's not a problem. Focus and intelligence. Health and intelligence 
Out we go. Quick look around, see if we can't see anybody. Then go back into shadows and then we'll exit the zone. It's under siege. So I'm going to take the tactical route out. I don't know though. No, let's go through the siege. Yes, see that brought me out, gives them a chance to see me to attack me. But it's PvP. Uh, right, they're not in this zone, so we can treat this zone like a normal zone. I mean, they don't know that I'm here, so... Okay, so let us get ourselves ready. What are we using with this character? Of course, he's using daggers and poison. And let's quickly get this area. Excellently low. Oh, let's just get rid of these so we know what we're trained with. I'm actually going to pin that one. I might review it when we get to level 40. Just trying to spend the points well whilst we build the character. Right, you, Mr. Thing. I'm just going to poison this blade so you can't run away from damage. And we're still trying to get that skill trained. I want to check if we are still training that poison skill. Yeah, but let's track and pin that one. And again, we want to get that one up to level 40. as a base skill before we start to train something else. And that's all we're going to do in this zone. So we're not quite ready for a siege yet. I think we're still looking for three tier zones. But we need a trainer first, so we'll go to Kiln. Alright, so it's under siege again. I would say this game has a lot of PvP, isn't it? Well, not in the UK, European time zone. Nobody in the zone, so let's do the reverse of what you're used to. Out we go. Oh, there's a wizard. Poison the blade. I, mean, I am wasting a little bit of poison in regards to that. You shouldn't be using poison on characters you can kill relatively quickly. I mean, I'd say definitely use them against these kind of targets. And did we get our poison on us? No, we didn't. I think it interrupted us. Can't tell if our weapon's poisoned. I don't think it is. Right, let's give it a little poison. Yep, 
Yeah, the blade did. We did get interrupted. See, wizards don't have much armor on them, so. Well, it does help you keep your hit rate up. And these are now green to me. We go down in the magical three hits or less. So let's head on in. Let's get those training done, and then I'll have to think of an area we can go to train with it. Three tier zone with enough combat option. Right, in we go. Yeah, some of this stuff's wearing out now. And that's worth keeping. Oh, it's a dagger blade. Okay, let's get to the trainer. And we want to learn the water skills. This one might be interesting actually, soothing rain. Now we're gonna need some re oh, we're gonna need reagents. So now we've got to go back to crossroads. Right, here we are. So nobody can easily see me. Anyway, right, let's all lay out combat deck first. Now let's take douse off because it's nothing that I wanted and that's already set up as a thingy um, let's go into the water tree because those are the two things we learnt there we go Ice field, which slows things down, which again is not something I really want. And douse is something that's handy. So I'll take that off and put that into where? This one, I guess. And then let's bring in. Soothing rain, which we're going to train up. So that'll be handy for general combat. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to our magic map, magic box. And we've got this side on how many reagents we want to carry. Now, we're going to have to carry a lot to start off with. Gonna be a bit of a risk. But we need let's just start off with this one. Mandrake, Nightshade, and Serpent Scales. Right, and this one needs garlic, mandrake, and black roots. So garlic. Yeah, some balls in there as well. Right. Because we need black pearl. We're going to go and harvest some black pearl. And that's where I'm going to bring this session of the video to an end. And of course, if you are new to my channels, you can subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitch and help me grow those channels. Also, feel free to leave any comments in any of the comments areas and I'll get back to you. And thank you for watching.